This video was made possible through a grant from the Haas Corporation. The Geek Group would like to thank Haas for their continued support in helping encourage innovation in design and manufacturing in America. The Geek Group proudly features ISCAR tooling in all of our workshops, videos, and hackerspaces around the globe. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden. And I'm Miss Garwick. Welcome to the Geek Group. In today's video, we're going to talk about block delete, which is this button. Yep. Okay. Now, I know it's a memory thing. Uh-huh. I know it's a programming thing. Yep. What is block delete? Because block delete does not do what I thought block delete did. Block delete lets you skip a line in the program, or multiple lines, or whatever you want to skip over. But it doesn't actually delete a program block. No, no, it, it, it's a skip. It it's should be skip. called block skip. Okay. But it's called delete. All right, so what does this do and why? Take us through on the thing. All right, this particular little program here. Now we have our block delete. Now what is what is that? This is a skip. Do we going to skip? Slash. We're going to skip this whole line, or are we going to continue reading the line? It's your choice. If you push the button, block delete, block delete off. That means it will read this line. Okay, okay, feeder. hang on, hang on. Okay, so, so if I if I were to press my block delete button. Uh huh. And this little symbol shows up here. Block delete. Okay, there's, it, there's even an icon for it, the little stair steps for the S. It says S. skip. Okay. So we get to this point here. And right. it just jumps over and picks up at our G01 down it would, here. That's correct. So you could use this if you had, let's say, a part. And on this part, you have a hole that you want on this model, but not on the other model, but you don't want to change the whole program. No. And you, sometimes you run this part, and sometimes you run the part without the hole, or something like that. Like, you, you have two versions of the same thing and one has a hole and one does it. You can put the hole with a block delete. That's correct. And when you're running the normal one without the hole, it just skips that. That's right. Instead of, so instead of putting a bolt hole pattern in of five holes, we want to skip this one here. Okay. So it'll drill this hole, this hole, skip that one because you put block delete on, drill this hole into this hole. Okay. So you can have right hand parts with four holes, left hand parts with five. Can you have multiple block deletes Absolutely. in Absolutely. And it'll skip all of them? All of them. Every so time you can have all kinds of options, and just, but it's either all or nothing. That's correct. You can't, you can't pick That's and correct. choose. That's correct. Yep. And that's block delete. That's block delete. That's really clever. Yep. And it has its own little picture. It has a picture. So that tells you block delete is, mm -hmm. is that picture right there. Yep. All right. That's block delete. Is block there anything delete. else to cover about this? Um, or is no, it really that's that pretty simple? Much it. Yeah. That's awesome. I wrote a little program. You can watch it run between the two. Does does anything actually happen in there? Yeah, it moves. It does? Yeah. Well, let's show them. All right. Do your thing. Do your thing. So uh, we're ready to go. It's doing stuff. Yeah. What are we doing? Well, we made an arc and then we made a line. Okay. Okay. So then uh, when it's done, it's going to pick up. That's a little far. Okay, we're done. Good. Okay. Now we turn the block delete on. All right. And now we're not going to make an arc. Now we just make a line. How about that? Isn't that special? That's cool. Okay. All Keep right, hold. I like this block delete thing. I learned something new today. Okay. Because I thought I knew what block delete was for like the past year. Mm -hmm. I totally had it wrong. Right. All this time. All right, guys, I'm Chris Bowden. I'm Miss Rick. Thank you very much, and as always, we'll see you next time. The Geek Group would like to extend our deepest gratitude to the Gene Haas Foundation for making this program possible. Thanks to their generous contribution, we are able to train and inspire machinists all around the globe. This video was made possible in part by Mastercam, whose CAD CAM software provides the base to all code generated for Geek Group CNC projects. Operating the CNC machines in this video risks personal injury and mechanical damage. Hazards may include electricity, untrained operation, airborne toxins, flying debris and noise, fire and explosions, poor shop upkeep, sharp tooling, projectiles, loose clothing, inadequate clamping, automatic operation, automatic tool changer, unsupported bar, over-tightened steady rest lack of enclosure, and impact. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation. This video was made possible by thousands of private donations from members and viewers like you. Please visit thegeekgroup.org for more information on how you can donate and become a part of our dreams of Avalon.